paramedic when I was a little boy. So I saw her doing a lot of things, making a difference in people's lives. And I saw my sister do the same thing. She worked on uh, what was monitored care at that point. And she ran on squads as well, did transports out of town. So. But I think a combination of the two of them made me want to go to nursing. Uh, I like that I can go anywhere with it. I've been to a lot of different towns, worked in a lot of different hospitals, big and small, and pretty much go anywhere, very marketable. Concentrate on your sciences, because every bit of it turns out to be part of this job. And develop your people skills, because you can't deliver the care unless you have people skills. Well, at first I didn't think I would be a registered nurse. I started at the hospital as a unit clerk and I was actually going to school for media. And then while working over at the hospital and seeing what the nurses do and watching my husband go through nursing school, I thought this may be something I'd be interested in. So I started shadowing around a little more and realized that that was something that I would love to do and pursue nursing after that. The best advice I could give you is to go over to the hospital and maybe hang out with a nurse or talk to a nurse to see what they do every day because you don't know if it's something you'll want to do unless you actually observe it. All right, I'm going to tell you about nursing school. Have a seat, don't be standing. When you go into nursing school, you need to go in at being serious. You're not going to be able to work full time for those two years when you're in nursing school. You're going to have to devote most of your time to the field. You'll be doing a lot of clinicals. You'll actually be going to the hospitals and different areas to see what they do. It's a lot of work, but it's so worth it. and I'm a registered nurse here at Southern Ohio Medical Center and I'm currently Director of Patient Safety. I've worked here for 21 years and I am responsible for every patient's safety in the organization.
My name is Caleb Evans. Um, I work in the emergency department here at Southern Ohio Medical Center. Um, I'm a registered nurse. I've uh, been a nurse for about five years now. Um, currently pursuing my, trying to get into a master's degree program at uh, Cincinnati. When I was in college, I never really knew exactly what I wanted to do. I was up in the air between a few different things and um, never could really find my niche. And uh, I had shadowed actually here and um, I shadowed a radiology tech. And um, you know, I, I kind of seen nurses working in the background and that kind of caught my interest. And uh, from then on, I applied to the nursing program and got right in. So. Nursing is a very diverse field. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for advancement in the practice. Um, definitely, if you're gonna shadow someone, don't limit yourself to you know, just one area. Kind of broaden your horizon a little bit. Um, don't shadow you know, just an ER nurse. Shadow some, someone who's in pediatrics, um, you know, a medical surgical floor, surgery, anywhere that you can get your foot in the door. That's my best advice for that. I chose emergency nursing because of the pace. There's never a dull moment, and um, everyone works really well together. It's excellent teamwork. Yeah. I work um, in the SOMC Surgical Associates office with Dr. Scarpinato, Dr. Jeffrey Parker, Dr. Marion Hostetler, and Dr. Stephen Montante. I think my favorite thing about working in the physician's office is the fact that I get to know my patients. We see um, the same patients over again several times prior to their surgeries and then follow-ups after their surgeries. And then with our breast patients, it's even a follow-up um, after that for several years, monthly, three months, that type of thing. So I think it's just the fact that I get to know my patients. You have to like people. You have to be, I guess, what they say, a people person, because you see people a lot of times at their very worst starting out and then you see them as they get better and that, and that type of thing. So I guess that would be the most important thing is that you um, need to be kind of a people person. Hi, I'm Valerie DeCamp. I'm Director of Nursing for Inpatient Services. I have been a nurse for 30 years. Um, I'm a graduate of Shawnee State University and I also have a bachelor's degree in nursing and a master's degree in healthcare. I am a board certified nurse executive. I started out in nursing working on an orthopedic unit and from there went to critical care, cardiac rehab and now 30 years later I'm working as a nurse executive and that just goes to show you there's a lot of different things that you can do in nursing. My role as director of nursing for inpatient services is to assure that the staff who work here provide excellent care to our patients, that they provide that in a safe and effective way. It's exciting being in nursing. I've loved every minute of it. I can't wait to come to work the next day just to see what um, my job's gonna bring. <laughs>